What's going on? Back plugged in again. What's your boy the profit? Hey, hey, shout out to everybody that are like that like made it to the the like fake stream premiere of this video. If you were there, you know who I'm talking about. But anyways, we about to go ahead and get into it. Uh, shout out to my guy, Jens, because he'd be like my eyes and ears, uh, making um, a lot of the tier lists and stuff like that. I only included characters that are actually good in PvP, like actually have a place. So if you think there are some characters that I didn't include on the list, then make sure you go ahead and let me know below in the comment section. Just do it like that. So I'll go ahead and get started. Um, so I have Yami uh, leading the C tier. Yami doesn't have any damage reduction, um, but he does have poise and he does have um, Nad and a really good Nad string with Flurry as well. Uh, just so you guys know that melee characters like Nad, you know, melee normal attack damage characters are more suited for PvP. The reason that melee characters are so much superior in PvP is because the AI for ranged characters is different. Which means that a ranged character, he's only going to do one or two hits of his string and then he's going to back up. Whereas a normal attack, uh, a melee character, they're just going out with that full string every time. So if they have um, poise, then once they start that nad string, nothing is stopping them. Um, so yeah, so that's that's basically that. Just so you guys know, so we can establish that as like equal ground. So Yami, uh, number one in C tier. Then you got Trushika Ichigo. He... Like I said, he's ranged. So even if like now he has a spotter killer, like Trushika Ichigo, in theory, he should be able to do some pretty good damage to like Noitora and to like Grimjow because he has a spotter killer and he has flurry and he hits really hard. Well, unfortunately, he's not even going to basically range characters in PvP. They stall, so it's not good for. Nad units is better for like SP units like you have bought in like Toshiro Hitugaya. Um, well, you'll see both of them on the list as well. Um, so that's basically it. You know, ranged normal attack is not good for PvP, it's not optimal at all. So you'll constantly hear me referring to that. Um, and it's been proven, all the PvP guys know this, it's no secret. One, um, so we'll go ahead and move on to the next person. Um, uh, the Cherisama, and like, I, I know a lot of you are probably gonna cap, like, oh my god, Cherisama so low, like, at least he's on the list, cause, like, there are a lot of characters, hundreds of hundreds of characters that didn't even make the list, so, Cherisama, he, he, he does have a place in PvP, especially if you have him transcended, now, is he gonna work in, like, Captain, head captain, third seat. Yeah, if you have a max trainer ascendant, he will work because he has a star barrier. So unless you have a star barrier yourself, then his strong attacks are gonna crush you. So yeah, Eisen's decent in uh, PvP. He does have that last dish link as well, and weakening on everything. So then you have Bach, who um, and also the any SP character is gonna be really good when they nuke in PvP. That nuke alone. First strong attack in your nuke in PvP can literally save games. That's the reason that Yuha Bak was so, he was so deadly for so long. No one had his killer. And um, his first strong attack was just ripping past everybody and just taking the soul bomb and just detonating on everybody, bro. So for A, I have Noitor, Gilga, um, the uh, six arms, the arms killing you version. Yeah, absolute monster. I mean, he really is. He's he he was one of the best PvP characters in the game for a very long time. Not only that, um, I actually use him as my Unahana counter. He does have um, a normal attack link, um, flurry with weakened defense on his soul bomb, um, and I mean that's pretty much it. He has adrenaline, which they don't even really give that anymore. But um, and long reach twenty, he's just an overall really really good PvP unit. Um, he does have super high defense. That was one of the things. He had the highest defense in the game, and I think he still might have the highest defense. Um, but super great character. Um, um, Captain Killer, Flurry, smashing everything. You got uh, Blue Kenny, a.k.a. Broken Up Next. 
only thing wrong with him is his nad string. One other thing that I need to um, let you guys know is that dupes are the most massive thing in PvP nowadays. Like, if a character can be can get several dupes easier than another character, in our actuality, they're going to place a bit higher, if you want to be honest. Like, um, we'll talk about that later on in the list. But, um, like, all these premium characters, you're going to have dupes of. Like, you, like if you got a five, a 4 or 5 Noitora, a 4 or 5 Kenny, you know what I'm saying? They're going to slap in PvP. Like, if you got, like, a, a, a 4 or 5 Hiyori, she's pretty much going to slap in PvP as well. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, broken, he's just slow. Very, very slow. Nad string. 16 DR. Poise. Captain Killer. That was used to be the best killer in the game. Um, don't know what the best killer in the game for PvP is right now, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. So, then we'll move on to Hiyori next. Um, she's has a better Nad string than Broken. Uh, she is a normal attack damage character, though. So, she doesn't have that damage resistance. Or, um, she doesn't have, like, really high defense to, to like, equal it out. Um, she does have, like I said, a hollow killer. So, she's really only going to get that against, like... Full hollow Ichigo, but um, other than that, her killer doesn't really play a huge factor. She does, however, have a 20% uh, bruiser on top of Flurry, which they didn't start giving that out until recently. So, um, instead of like, so she's going to hit 20% uh, more damage than like, well, technically 40% more damage because she has NAB, but you know, her Flurry plus 20% bruiser is more than like they're giving characters like um, Blue Kenny and like. Noitora, like, you never used to have Flurry and, um, Bruiser. They just never used to do that. So, um, yeah, so, Hiyori does hit pretty hard. She can be used in PvP as well. You know, once you get to the higher levels, it does get a bit sticky. But she does have Poise, um, Flurry, and, I mean, that's pretty much it. Sajin is a very good unit. He hits very hard. A Nad Link as well. Um, melee nad string which is very important and then um, he just very squishy he has a spotted killer which should be very good these days but he just gets ripped up by either a Noitora or uh, a, the new Grimjow they just rip him up I mean he was always squishy dude Unahana just destroyed him when she came out he don't have any status elements or any boost or anything like that to add to the team so that pretty much limits him there. Um, we'll go ahead and move on to the uh, next tier here. <sighs> We're getting through these slow but quick. Air do 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 do. All right. So so um, right here to start off A tier we have the manga soy foam. She's a normal attack damage character as well with flurry. And um, she, her nad string is really, really crazy. She has an enhancer uh, boost. So she has boost with enhancer. And um, yeah, an insane, absolutely insane normal attack string. Um, she does come equipped with the wrong car killer. So that means that um, she, you know, she's going to get killer against like any Iran car. So Halibel, Noitora, um, Grimjow, you know, anybody, uh, Yami. You know, any of those guys that you would use in the higher levels of PvP. Um, Flurry Poise Enhancer, Long Reach, absolutely crazy, man. Uh, she's just a good unit. Um, normal attack damage, she doesn't have DR, but she does add that boosting mechanic to the team. Um, the Kita Machine Society version, he's actually like kind of a wild card. Um, he does have damage resistance. He's a healer, but he's ranged. So, um... His AI isn't really cut out for PvP, even though his stats and skills lend him to be a PvP character. Uh, 16 damage reduction, um, a flurry, medic, uh, freeze resistance, which that's not very many people freeze. One key person does freeze. Um, but yeah, he does have um, uh, 30, 30 bruiser with flurry. So... I mean, dude actually hits crazy, um, and he does have medic as well, so that, I mean, you know, um, yeah, man, he, he, he hits really hard, but if he was a, a NAD unit, he would be a lot better, and if he had, like, 
Um, let me just check real quick to see because if I'm not mistaken, yeah, he has paralysis on everything except his heal move. So that's going to be very, very good. I think paralysis is the best status element in PvP. Uh, moving on to the uh, Lilinette Gingerback. She is a medic with flurry, poise, and um, damage reduction link as well. Um, I don't really like her Nash string to be honest, but because uh, it's like kind of segmented, it like kind of hits you in chunks, you know what I mean? Um, but that aside, she, she has poise, DR, um, and uh, medic. So she's going to be, she's going to hit pretty hard and she's going to heal the team as well. So that's really, really good. Um, she doesn't have any status elements or anything like that. Um, then moving on, I have Tucky Nada, who... Uh, he could have been higher low key because he's neutral attribute. Um, he has sober killer, which is probably the best killer for PvP. I mean, you get killer on Ichibe and Oetsu still on top of all the captains. Um, but like comparing him to N, Tukinata does have a boost with enhancer. And Tukinata, he's gonna be good in like any in any seat of PvP if you have dupes of them. Like if you have like a four or five or three or five or five or five Tukinata, he's gonna basically shred in any seat. He's just gonna be a, a victim to his AI, maybe not using his NAD all the time. Cause range characters they like to stall for a minute and use their first strong attack. If a range character is using his first strong attack, he's not he's losing massive damage and a, a melee character is just chomping away at him as he's firing strong attacks like getting destroyed so um then we got game right next so he is 20 dr with the hollow killer ranged um ranged attack so you know like i said it doesn't it's not exactly the best for pvp but it's still very very good because he has 20 dr um and yeah uh, you know he has a very very good nash string he doesn't move in it's like it's one of the best Nash ring to use for epic raids, by the way. But he does have poise, you know. Um, the 20 DR, um, his killer isn't going to be very effective in PvP because it's hollow. Um, but yeah, so he doesn't have any like berserker to speak of, um, any extra bruiser to speak of, or anything like that. But um, he still hits very hard. So we'll go ahead and um, move on here to the next category ladies and gentlemen we're almost done this is our biggest category if i'm not mistaken drum roll please Brrr. all right so we're in s and um i got grim leading s tier all right now this guy has a 40 bruiser 20 dr and like flurry like what else do you want he doesn't have like he doesn't have any tangibles like boosting or anything like that but he just hits hard as hell. He's in a wrong car, so I mean he's you know in the spotter, so not a lot of people have his killer that are like really relevant in PvP. But you know, he he's a very great character for PvP. I mean that literally can't be denied. He has Sorber Killer for God's sakes with a 40% bruiser. So he's basically getting 160% damage on most of the best characters in the game for PvP, and he has 20 DR um with poise so it's like he just he just hits very very hard and he can la he can outlast a lot of units um he don't have any status immunities though so which of course that's gonna hold him back a little bit unahana yachiru um she was literally the most dominant pvp character for a long time and uh yeah um, now with her being out several, several times, you're going to have a lot. Most of the people have like her four or five or five or five for every dupe she has, she heals an additional 20% with her soul bomb. So if you have a five or five red two that manages to get the soul bomb with the entire team on the brink of death, she heals them all to 100%. Like that's busted, yo. But yeah, heal second strong attack as well as the, um, heal, um, move and then masterful nad string uh, quick activation so she's not doing her strong attacks for long times and then that insane nad string and instant kill chance on her super as well Kidoki Fune will be higher should be S plus tier she was melee but she's ranged she has a boost and a heal um, with the soul reaper killer and a neutral attribute um, and a damage reduction link so I mean, she's extremely good for PvP. Um, very good for PvP. 
she just reigns. So, like I said, her AI is the only thing that holds her back. You heard me say that a lot. I um, mean, she does have a 40 bruiser as well. Like I said, with Poise Medic and Enhancer, she just a Mad Lad unit. Uh, Vassalor Ichigo, he um, has Last Ditch Survival and 20% damage reduction against Captains. So, yeah, a little bit too specific to be honest, but he does technically have a DR link, but not all the time, okay? So, I don't know if that's like when Captains are on the floor. I don't know if that's when Captains are hitting him. However you slice it, it's inconsistent. But he does hit like hell, and um, he has a last ditch link built in as well. Um, Halibel is a really good unit. She's more of a stall unit. Um, her her first strong attack and second strong attack are good for shedding barrier characters. Um, and she has a poise, a paralysis resistance, which is like the most one of the best immunities you can have for pvp aside from freeze but not a lot of freeze characters are very relevant in pvp so paralysis is like the one of the most important immunities to have in pvp and she has that while she inflicts paralysis at a pretty high level with damage reduction she only does have a 50 bruiser but she's a star unit like i said uh then i have oh it's my Maya. oh it's sorry for killer so she does about 70 percent um, normal attack damage against uh, Sorpers. And then uh, Oetuni Maya, who no, he doesn't have poise. No, he don't have DR. He has a cooldown reduction link, but he does have a vortex, which means any character with the barrier, he's going to knock it down the second he pops that second strong attack, which is a boost as well, and he's going to pop that very fast. He has a really, really good Nat string, Soul Reaper Killer. He just rips through people. One of the best characters in the game that doesn't have a true perfect counter, um, who is Ichibe. Um, Oetu can consistently kill Ichibe's. It does depend on his build and who has more dupes. But um, yeah, he can kill Ichibe if he gets uh, if if he gets uh, dealt some good cards. If the luck goes his way, he can shred Ichibe's. All you gotta do is really launch a second for launch a second strong attack, and then just get them using that nad, and it's not gonna be too long. Um, Nelio two, uh, the Camp Fairground World alternate rebirth version. She is um, a very very great character actually for PvP. She has an eighty um, bruiser. But her nad string is really deceptive. She just moves across the screen. It's hard to hit her. As well as that, she has um, a mini vortex third strong attack and a vortex second strong attack, which means she has the highest chance of any character to proc weakening in the game. So, yeah, um, she don't, like I said, no dr link, but she does have poise. So, boom, bam, pow. And then we'll go ahead and move on to our final. Our final most elite members of PvP. All right, let's go ahead and start this off. So we have um, Ichibe, number one PvP unit in the game, in my personal opinion. Um, dupes do play a factor, though, because, like, for instance, when Raruka first came out, on paper, she's better than Kenpachi, but nobody went for dupes of her for PvP versus you can have a 4 or 5 or a 5 or 5 weekend or 3 or 5 weekend just laying around. If you got a 3 or 5 Ruka, then you're very lucky, but barely anyone went for her for dupes. So that does play a factor when it's all said and done. But um, Ichibe is just hands down the best PvP character pound for pound. Um... Zero Squad Affiliation as well as Soul Reaper. He has a Spot of Killer, which Noitora needed a counter, and he's that. He has a Start Barrier as well as Noitora, and he pierces Barrier. So he just literally destroys Noitora's, you know, having his Killer ability, and, um, and he has Weakening on everything as well, so he can proc that Weaken. So uh, Flurry, DR, I mean, there's really, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, start barrier and like I said he pierces barriers the only one bad thing about Ichibe is that for whatever reason he's going against a Noitor and doesn't kill him he do he pierces the barriers but he doesn't take them away so that's one thing to kind of like know I mean if you have a weak Ichibe it's probably not good to use him because he's not like he's not going to kill a 3 of 5 Noitora if you got a 1 of 5 Ichibe 
And then Noitora still has like full berries except from their strong attack from the other two guys. But Noitora had to be countered. I mean, this guy is still arguably the best PvP unit just because of some situations like dupes. You know, maybe not everybody has more Ichibes, but I would still say overall Ichibe is better, of course. Um, but Noitora is just universally just extremely good and potent. His first strong attack is going to let him snatch soul bombs better than almost anybody else on the list aside from Toshiro. Um, and you would Bach and probably Aizen. Um, yeah, man. Uh, Notori has a captain killer, process on everything. Just a complete mad lad. Um, enhanced with boost and a transformation. So he hits super, super hard. Um, and yeah, man. Toshiro Hitugaya. The thing is, you could put Toshiro at the end of S+, plus or right here. Because no one with a berry can do shit about him, bro. If you don't have a berry, you can't do nothing against this Toshiro, bro. Like, you can you can build him 1 of 5 with with with, with um, 3 Senkaiza links, and he's going to damn near kill almost any character that's not like 3 of 5 or 4 of 5. If you got a 3 of 5 Tosh or a 5 of 5 Tosh, good night to anyone without a barrier. He dies quick, so he's a glass cannon, but you can build him other ways. You can build him to survive if you want to, snatch soul bombs. You can build him in a lot of different ways, okay? Um, but, yeah, so Yamamoto is over Kenny and Chad because Ichibe needs a counter. And if you have basically the best team right now, in my opinion, is Yamamoto, Noitora, and Ichibe. Or Ichibe, Noitora, Toshiro, if they have somebody without a barrier starting. If you start with Toshiro, that's an instant body down dead. If you see a person without a barrier, Tosh can instantly wreck them, all right? So he's going to kill a Yama. My, bro, I, my five out of five, Chad has got one or two shotted by Toshiro's in the past that wasn't five out of five so as soon as I saw that I knew it was real um but yeah between Yamamoto Chad and Kenny um Kenny is universally probably the best out of them because he has the second highest chance to proc weaken out of anybody with a super crazy nad string um, and his damn his DR 16 and he has high defense as well um, Chad is a booster with shortest range, but no one has his um, His killer. He's a human. No one has killer against him. So Chad really should be over Yamamoto But the meta calls for Ichibe being more important not Chad you could even go Ichibe, Chad, Noitora. There's just so many different ways to slice your PvP team. If you have any of the units in S rank, you're going to be successful in the highest ranks. Um, now, this Raruka, she honestly could be higher than Kenpachi because she has a 20% bruiser, which he doesn't have a bruiser at all. And then she, her killer isn't going to get used very much at all, but um, she's going to get more damage on more enemies on everybody except captains so and she has um, a pretty high chance of pocketing that weakening as well but overall if you have dupes of Ruka, she's going to perform just as well if not better as weakened because no one has killer against her at all she can break barriers and she can cause weakening which means she can literally turn the tide on any battle um i gotta end this video because a bit longer than i want to be but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, make sure you guys weigh in. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and let me know what kind of tier list you want to see. Prop Nation, do love y'all. See you next video. I'm out.